Welcome, Dr. Omkar. Uh, we are very grateful to have you on the organization Dentosum. And thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to interview you. And we are quite excited to share about your journey with all the budding dental students. Uh, so my first question to you is that, can you please introduce yourself? Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Anisa, for calling me on your interview. So this is actually my first time, but I'm very excited for it. So let's start it. Uh, so I will introduce myself. Myself, Dr. Omkar Vikas Karikar. I have second rank 11 during this NEET examination. I belong to Maharashtra, Mumbai. And uh, I have completed my undergraduate from a small private college from Kolapur called as Tata Sahib Kauri Dental College. Uh, I am like more interested. My hobby is like reading. I like reading some books. I like uh, just uh, seeing some series on Netflix and all those. I'm not just a kind like who enjoys only studying. I am also involved in extracurricular activities like dancing and all those. Not in sports that much, but more involved in like uh, dancing and all those parts. Yes. Okay. So when did you ideally start your preparation, sir? So it's like uh, my final examination was over by about October 20. I enjoyed my one month completely. And then I joined about uh, in November. Series I have joined uh, from the Belgium Institute. So from then I started my preparation. So it about took about December 2021 to start my preparation, actually. Okay. Uh, so what is the difference between INICT and NEET MDS exams in terms of questions asked and how should students usually prepare themselves and how they should answer? Okay, so I would say I haven't given INICT yet. So this will be my first INI I will be approaching. So, but uh, the questions I would say like INI goes more with critical thinkings. Like in the need, there are some of the straightforward one-liners questions are there, but INI goes like uh, you have to think, uh, apply your knowledge on that. Also, if you see like medical studental ratio is quite high in the need, like the need goes more with medicals, direct questions from medicals. But INIS goes like uh, more with the clinical part, dental part. So that is the difference I have noticed. Like INI goes more with clinical. So you have to throw with the clinical knowledge. And NEET has both of those uh, mixtures. Okay. So that you have to balance. Okay, sir. When, yeah. when you joined the CDs Coaching Institute, uh, how was your preparation? Like, Did you stick with the schedule? Or did you have your own schedule? Uh, how was that the whole uh, religion process? Okay. So I would say like when I joined CDs, our senior batch where their exams were postponed to May. Like, so at that time, the, our uh, classes used to be like uh, every Sunday, right? Uh, since I'm a classroom student, it was every Sunday and Saturday for us. So two classes were used to be there. So it was like, uh, uh, I used to follow their schedule only. So I used to take uh, OP initially, oral path. So I used to follow that only. At the initial stages, it's like uh, a big stone you have to uh, like cross yeah. of the need. So initially your preparation is slow. So we'll, uh, we used to follow sir only. We used to do OP. And then uh, as a sir used to progress, I used to progress in the same way. So I followed completely the subject pattern of the series. I didn't go like some used to do OP as well as some of the other subject. But for me, it was like initial steps. So I used to follow just one subject initially. That's it. And later as I progressed, I used to progress with him. Okay. Yes. So how many books did you refer while you were doing preparation? Like I would say you have to follow three basic books. Okay. One is Pulse. Second is dentist, and third is third is nearest Varadwa. And that do not I used to dentist for clinical part, like dental part, and uh, pulse for the medical part. If you are good at the speed, you can do both. But it was not possible with me also. Like I used to be in the internship, so it was not possible to me to do both of those parts. But I tried with one or two subjects, but I found that there are many similarities with both of those books. So rather than wasting too much of time, focus on one book and then follow that. 
So like I did, uh, dentist for uh, clinical part, that is dental part. And for medical part, I followed the uh, pulse. And third is Neeraj Vadavan. That is just we have to do, see the past uh, question papers. And explanations are too much in the Neeraj Vadavan. It is very difficult to read. So I would say at the questions which used to, I used to get uh, like uh, stuck. Means I used to uh, not follow the question. Of those only, I used to see the explanations, not complete explanations, because explanations is one to two pages in the Vadwar. So rather the question, go with those part only, you see the explanation. Okay. Yes. So did you give equal importance to clinical and non-clinical subjects uh, while preparing notes and also while solving questions? What was your strategy, sir? Yes. So since we have asked clinical and non-clinical, so clinical goes with more prosto and all those and non-clinical like OP and uh, other part. So you have to balance both of those, right? PhD, your uh, oral path, oral medicine, radiology have equal importance of the clinical. So uh, rather, I would say follow both simultaneously. Uh, give importance to both. Both of those are necessary. Okay. Yeah. So if you have asked like uh, medical to dental, I would say focus more on the dental part rather than medical. Okay. Like need also do some discrimination of 140 and 100 questions. So it's okay if you more focus on dental first and then medical. Okay. That is what I feel uh, you should do. Uh, sir, uh, what about MCQ practice, sir? Okay, so MCQ practice, what I used to do is, initially I have, I used to read everything, right? I the uh, explanation of those each and every MCQs and uh, round those MCQs, which I feel used to be difficult. So whenever you go for a second reading, second reading in the sense uh, on the same day, uh, this question you have marked, you have to just see for those. Okay, so that will be second reading of the day. Okay, so just read those, write explanations which you have not felt like it is difficult one. You note it in your notebook. And at the end of a day, you have to read those part only. Whichever you have uh, marked it in your, or you have uh, wrote in your notebook, you should read that much part. So at the end of the day, you will have a page full of the information. So that would be good for you rather than uh, seeing every and all the explanation. You have some... Uh, like stipulated amount of the uh, data to remember. Okay. So, uh, like from first to 100 or from 100 to first, whichever uh, manner you have to follow, just complete MCQs in one reading. Okay. First reading should be complete with explanation. So, when did you ideally start your first uh, revision, sir? See, actually, what I did, my first reading was just completed in about December, this December, like uh, yeah. 20, 2022 December, my first reading was completed, actually. Okay. It was a huge, like, gap for me <laughs> because the intensive is used to be sitting again for the study was the most difficult part. So I completed my first reading, actual first reading on the December. Okay, then I started from Amazing, hmm. sir. one. Actually, it is not that much difficult to complete one reading in uh, four to five months if you do one week for a one subject. But for as internship, definitely we have just a small amount of time to cover. So thankfully, the exam also got postponed by some uh, three to four, two to three months. Yeah. So I got uh, a good amount of time for my second revision. Okay. So you have yes. done only two times revisions, sir? Huh? Yes, yes, actually. But those two revisions were thorough, okay, thorough. Complete, like, uh, noting all those parts which I used to feel difficult. I have written the notes of all those parts. I have books, okay, so that I would say the two-time revision is enough. You don't have to feel like I have just completed it twice. I used to feel like I have just twice, I have completed it twice. What rank I would expect within thousand or what, but uh, it was a very uh, good to say that I have got an eleventh rank. Okay, so wow. just by revising yeah. twice, I would say. Yes, sir. it's it's kind of inspiring that you have only did the revision for twice, and you got all India rank eleven. 
so I would like to do a one follow up question. So when you were doing the revision, uh, I think you you have followed your notes first. Yes, yes. I, and as I said, the MCQ have... revision, like what was it, or did you just uh, for did, did you just focus on your uh, revising the MCQ po points, or was it like notes and MCQs? Okay. So as I said, you in first uh, uh, first reading, I used to mark those important questions. I used to round those. So okay. that you have to read in second uh, revision thoroughly. Okay. Uh, like their explanation, you have to read it thoroughly. And uh, once that part is completed, you have your own notes, which you have made it for first time. Like I said, you have to write the uh, note part uh, once your first reading is done, which you failed, it is unnecessary. So once that one chapter is completed with those rounded MCQs, you can just read the notes which you have made. Right? So it will complete both. Uh, which you failed, it was difficult also and easy part also. So both of those parts will get covered in your notes. Exactly. So how did you push yourself to study the topics that you didn't enjoy or you know was very difficult and boring? How mm -hmm. did you push yourself? So? so actually, this is a tough question. So <laughs> what I used to do, right? Uh, the general medicine is difficult, definitely a difficult subject for everyone. Uh, so I used to do what I used to couple that subject with the interesting subject. Like I used to enjoy prosto and pedo. So uh, I used to like do the general medicine in morning. And then I used to do pedo or the prosto part in the evening. So it's give you urge like you have to study your interesting topic in evening. But first you have to complete the non-favorite. So it pushed me like. Uh, to do your interesting topic, you have to do the uninteresting topic in the morning. So I used to cover the both of those parts. Like in morning also, I used to cover general medicine. And in evening, I used to do pedo or prosto, which is interesting one. So it took about two weeks for me to complete general medicine and prosto pedo. So it took about three weeks to me to complete this three subject. Okay. So this was the, at the end of this, like November, I used to do this. Uh, एक सब्जेक्ट कितने दिन नोट्स पढ़ते थे आप और फिर उसके बाद उसकी एमसीक्यूज कितने दिन लगते थे आपको सॉल्व करने के लिए लाइक डिड यू फॉलो लाइक वन सब्जेक्ट पर वीक और डिड यू लाइक मिक्स डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स लाइक यू सेड राइट नाउ जनरल मेडिसिन पीडो एंड कॉस्टो सो आपका स्केड्यूल कैसे था ओके दो जो इंटरेस्टिंग सब्जेक्ट्स है लाइक दैट आई यूज्ड टू डू इन लाइक गुड मैनर ओके फॉर अ वीक आई यूज्ड टू फॉलो दो स्पार्क for week out of for two weeks also it used to take me for to read for one time uh, but jo uh, uninteresting the usko mujhe couple karna hi padta tha like jo interesting subject the uske sath so i followed my own timetable and that is my advice that you okay. should be making your own timetable okay. like for a week for a uh, day for a time like uh, ek week mein i have to cover this subject ek din mein i have to cover this much part of that subject इतने टाइम में हैव टू कवर दिस मच एमसीक्यूज ऑफ दैट टॉपिक और चैप्टर ओके सो दैट इज द शेड्यूल आई यूज्ड टू फॉलो एंड आई वुड रिकमेंड दैट यू टू फॉलो दैट पार्ट ओके श्योर सर थैंक यू सर सर एनी स्मार्ट स्टडी टिप्स ओके सो दिस इज माय फर्स्ट टिप लाइक फर्स्ट मेक योर टाइम टेबल ओके सो एज आई सेड फर्स्ट यू गो फॉर वीकली प्लानिंग देन यू गो फॉर डेली प्लानिंग and in daily planning you have to again divide it into like morning session evening session and a revision session okay so revision session is after the evening part which you have okay so morning session is like uh, till 12 or till you go for lunch so how much ever you can uh, cover the uninteresting topic or interesting it's of your choice you complete that part uh, the chapters you decide in that particular part Like again, dividing chapter involves three parts. One is mild, moderate, and severe. Like mild involves some easy topic. Moderate is having some uh, moderately part, and severe is like difficult one. So you divide your uh, morning schedule also in the three parts, so that you can have a complete like package, complete of the day. Like it will be not like all easy topics are completed on one day. So it is like all three aspects will be covered on the same day. Uh, mild, moderate, and severe, or difficult, easy, and moderate. Okay, so that is the first tip. I would say make your own timetable. Second tip, I would give you to have a good. Okay, so I used to have my study partner, Doctor Dhanishta. 
So we used to discuss like uh, what we have to do for a week uh, and all those I used to follow. Like she also whenever used to have some bad time or when also I, I used to have a bad time, we used to share a lot for those. We used to inspire each other, motivate each other. Like so that I feel is something which uh, you should have a study partner to go uh, for your preparation to work out smoothly. And so that is the one of the important uh, thing I would say is required or smart tip. Other than that, I would say like uh, there are many pages on Instagrams, like uh, they give you too much of the information. So follow those or uh, whenever you get time, you just see those uh, pages. Like they give too much of information which is required, like picture based questions and all those. Okay. Other than that, I would say uh, stick to your timetable. Talk with your parents. The parents are also important. They also require, like, uh, they want their child to have some best uh, in their life. So talk with them. Share your thoughts with them. Okay. Uh, tell your mother that uh, yeah, today was not a good day. She will inspire you. Like, beta, every day is happens like this. You have to face some good part. You should be seeing a good, uh, like, uh, part of yourself. So that is the important thing which I uh, also did. I used to call my parents or I used to talk with my mother okay, regarding the same. So that is the thing. And uh, I would say one more, like WhatsApp is having now the recent part, like you can message yourself, right? So that is the one part I would say. You can message yourself in the part which are difficult, like charts and all. So take a picture, you send it to yourself. So it would be helpful before the exams. I would say. So I used to just see those uh, charts which were difficult. Uh, so that is the part I would say uh, smart tips, like uh, hard work is important, okay? So smart tips are this from my sides. Thank you so much for sharing those tips, sir. They have definitely given me a new perspective on my preparation for the upcoming year. Uh, so um, what is it, what advice would you give to the student out there who is inspired by what you have achieved and wants to do the same. So you can look at me like I have just, I required first reading required about a one year at most to be. So it is not like uh, you can't do it. I used to feel like my it is not possible for me to do it in internship. But if you believe in yourself, right, everything is possible. Just have a faith in yourself that why I can't in this one try. You can do it. So just believe in yourself and the anxiety, depressions, definitely they are on way. But you have to come out from that. Uh, listen to good music, talk to your parents, talk to your friends to come out from that. Uh, don't be just in the bad sides of the anxiety, depressions. They will just like kill your preparation. They are not good for us. Other than that, like uh, I used to feel like my friends are earning, like most of my friends are like CA and engineers. So they like started earning and we are still in the phase like uh, uh, we are not earning good amount. Okay. So don't feel like this. We have something good in our life. There is a, uh, there is a hope. Just believe, persist. That's it. I would say. Okay. That is one of the important advice I can give from my set because I too failed the same during my preparation. Okay. But yes, believe in yourself. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for sharing about your neat journey and all the best for your INICT exam. I really hope that you're in top 10 rank and I would take a, again <laughs> interview for that. Uh, thank you for uh, sharing the books, the three books that every student should focus on and uh, how it is important to like read interesting subject and uninteresting subject in a day. And not like revising only for a few times is it's okay and that you should have confident on your uh, knowledge that I can remember even if I revise it for a few times this has definitely inspired me so thank you for also giving us the smart study tips and I hope that people out there whoever is listening will find a good friend a good study partner yes. and will talk to their parents every day yes yes, yes. thank you so much for calling me like uh this was my first experience, I would say, and it was a great talking with you. <laughs> so all the best for everyone who is seeing this video. 